Hi guys, uh, welcome to this new video of Joey's Tech in which we are going to solve another computing problem using dynamic programming. Today we are going to solve a coin change problem which is about finding uh, how, in how many ways if we are given a coin collection you can form a particular sum. So let's move to the problem right away. So here is the problem. We have a sum, let's say 11 and uh, we are uh, given coins of uh, denomination 2, 5, 3 and 6. So in how many ways we can form 11 using coins uh, of 2, 5, 3 and 6 provided all the coins are in infinite supply. That means there is no limit on the number of coins, number of each coin. So as you can see on the screen that uh, the number of ways to solve this problem is 6. So we'll see how we can find a 6 using dynamic programming the algorithm before we proceed uh, to the solution of this problem uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of the videos of dynamic programming of my channel so let's move to the solution right away as you can see that uh, this is the setup of our solution we are going to fill this matrix and this highlighted cell over here will contain the final solution to our problem. You can see that uh, the coins, each coin denotes the each of the rows of this matrix over here and uh, each step to the final sum which is 11 denotes the columns of uh, this matrix. The first column over here is filled with ones because it represents the default state. As we proceed with the solution, we are going to see why it has been filled with ones. And uh, each, and the first row of uh, this matrix is filled with zeros. This also represents the default state, the zeroth state. So we'll also see that once we move down the line, how, why we have filled this one row, the first row, with zeros so let's move to the solution so this is our first sum now this is one uh, I ask you a question in how many ways you can form one when you are given a coin of denomination 2 so I'm guessing that your answer is also zero because there is no way we can form some one using coin of denomination 2 so I'm going to put zero over here but how the algorithm is going to pick zero the algorithm is going to pick zero from here because this represents the zeroth state and that is why we have filled this first row the zeroth row with zeros now we move to the next term which is two uh, let me ask you again using uh, in how many ways using two we can form two so only one coin is required that means there is only one way to form two using coin of denomination two so i'm going to put here one but how the algorithm is going to pick it how the algorithm is going to pick one it's simple it's going to subtract this two from this two and that is going to take the execution to this particular cell where i have initially set the value as one that means i am actually giving this cell one because this represents the single way of forming a particular sum when we have a coin of the same denomination as the sum to when we are using the coin of the same denomination as the sum to form the sum so here we are using the coin of denomination two to form two that means it's 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 natural that there is one way so how I am going to how the algorithm is going to pick that one way it is going to pick from the default state and that is the reason why we have filled this column with one so when we are going to form five using a coin of denomination five then there has to be one way so from where that one way will be picked from here so we are going to fill all the subsequent columns of this first row using the same method but 
one thing you need to remember that uh, the number of ways that this cell value is going to be the combination of the value from the left as well as the value from the top so this one over here is the combination is the addition of this one and the zero so one plus zero is one so we are getting it uh, one over here why we are doing this we'll see your understanding will be more clear once we proceed with the solution once we proceed once we move ahead in the solution let me say that so it's going to be zero over here it's uh, going to be one over here uh, this will be zero this will be one this will be zero this will be one this will be zero this will be one this will be zero over here since there is no way we can form one using five so we are going to only pick the solution from this cell from the cell above because we cannot look in the left so our solution here will be zero then this will be one this will be zero this will be one now here we can form five using a coin of denomination five so five subtracted from five will bring us here 1 plus 0 this will be 1 now 5 subtracted from 6 will bring us here 0 plus 1 again 1 similarly we are going to fill all these cells so we get 1 over here we get 1 over here uh, we get uh, 1 over here here we will get 2 so this will be summation of this cell and summation of this cell now this cell you may be wondering why only this cell that we are picking for uh, one of the solution as one of the solution so this cell actually represents the solution of a sub problem that sub problem is when we have to find when we have to form 10 and we have only a coin of denomination 2 check this out check this out here so using how many ways we can form 10 when we have a coin of denomination 2 in infinite supply there is only one way and uh, let me tell you the coins also 5 coins of 2 will give us 10 so this is one of the ways because over here over here we are looking at the coins of denomination 2 as well as 5 so we are picking one of the solutions from here now let's look at the other way of forming of uh, of uh, of getting the solution from uh, uh, of, of of this uh, particular cell so when we subtract 5 from 10 we are going to reach over here now this represents the solution of 5 when we have the sum 5 and we have 2 and 5 as the coins so this gives us 1 and this is coming from here so only using a coin of 5 we can form 5 so this represents one way and this represents another way now of course we can form 10 using a coin of denomination 2 but can we form 10 using any coin or uh, any number of coins of uh, denomination 5 yes we can and we can form 10 using two coins of 5 okay and that is why we subtracted 5 from here because this is giving us one way even if we add 5 to it it still be one way so now this one added to this one makes it 2 so we have got two solutions of forming 10 one with the coin of denomination 2 and one with the coin of denomination 5 but we are looking at them collectively hence 2 is the solution I hope it's clear to you uh, when you are going to take a look at it yourself it will be more clear it will be very clear to you 
so let me omit this and we are going to fill this matrix similarly in a similar way I'm sorry I used the word similarly in a similar way so this is going to give us 1 then over here it's going to be 0 it's going to be 1 now this 3 subtracted from 3 is going to give us 1 this is going to give us 1 this is going to give us 2 this is going to give us 2 then uh, uh, this will give us 2 8 uh, uh, 3 subtracted from 8 will give us 3 then uh, it will give us 3 then it will give us 4 and uh, this will give us 4 now this will be 0 since uh, there is no way we can form any of these sums using 6 1 1 1 2 now 6, six subtracted from 6 is going to take us over here so 1 added to 2 going to make this 3 then this is going to make it uh, 2 then uh, this will be 4 this will again be 4 this is going to be 5 and this is going to be 6 so we have got 6 as our answer now there are 6 ways using which we can form 11 when we have coins of 2, 5, 3 and 6 in infinite supply so this represents the solution now let's take a look at the algorithm this is our algorithm so if uh, s i minus 1 is greater than j this s is uh, the array of uh, coins that means our coin collection so greater than j that is the same thing that means uh, uh, if we are looking at uh, a coin of particular denomination and we are also looking at the columns then it has to be greater than it like uh, we have been seeing in the matrix then mij then a matrix sales value is going to be mi minus 1 uh, j and uh, when it is not then uh, mij is going to be mi minus 1 j plus mi j minus s i minus 1 here we are subtracting that coin denomination from the sum and taking the value so this particular thing is actually looking uh, is actually looking in the left and this is taking value from the cell above the time complexity of uh, this uh, uh, dynamic programming solution is uh, o within braces mn so with the time complexity we have reached to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that uh, you were able to learn solving uh, coin change problem using dynamic programming. Um, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video of Joey Stick. Thank you so much.